a weapon. Oh, oh my god! Yucko! Yucko! I think I just did the kook line of the century. Welcome back, folks, to our epic final instalment of the Bush Mechanics Challenge. Previously on the show, Jock and I bought each other budget rigs and gave ourselves just 24 hours and a five grand budget to convert them into track ready weapons with help from my mate Jesse and Matt Kinsella from Kinsella's Customs. That'll do. With our new rigs in hand and beers on the line, we went straight to the Glasshouse Mountains in search of tough tracks to test them out on. And boy, did we find them. Two hours of that bar for beginners, mate. After a massive day out in the tracks, Team Daryl is now chasing to catch up after the big GQ hit transmission problems and had to be towed by the Pony Hilux to a workshop to drop out the auto box and replace the seals. With the new seals in place, we've got our fingers crossed that Daryl is going to be up and running again, ready to hit the tracks tomorrow, giving us a chance to even the scores, which Jock is currently leading six beers to two on our Iron Jack scoreboard. Well, I've got the whole team on the case at the moment. Jesse, Jock, Matto, and the whole team here at SPR. It's all hands on deck. We're trying to get that, that box going in now. I'm going to hopefully see if this works. Um, it's a late night in the workshop, and the boys are just spinning spanners wildly and getting this done. Big props to SP uh, for letting us into the workshop. This is after hours, it's really late at night. Fingers crossed we'll get back out there tomorrow first thing and um, we've got a few points to redeem. Fingers crossed. Now, the GQ was never running that smoothly to begin with, but at least now, the auto should hold on to its fluid and stop us blowing up the transmission out on the track. This is a big job for one night in a workshop, but the boys are getting it done, and Matt even finds time to make a few little adjustments to improve the GQ's approach angle. Yes. Yes, she's running. Well, sort of. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Here at Four Wheel Drive 24-7, this is what we live for spinning spanners and fixing forbies in the night after a hard day's wheeling. And damn, it feels good to hear that GQ engine on song. Okay, it's missing a little bit, but that's that's how Daryl is. The auto's back in and things are running like they should. So the good news is we are gonna hit the tracks tomorrow. It's really late at night though. The guys have been working overtime here. It's nearly midnight and um, we're just gonna find a little bit of flat ground somewhere, get some canvas, Sleep for a little bit and then first thing tomorrow, get straight back out in those tracks in the glass house and get straight back to the action. I can't wait and I'm so stoked that Daryl is back in action. How good is this? And just like that, we're back in the game. And soon we've found a spot to park up, have a cold one and get ready for round two out in the tracks. Well, mate, new day on the tracks to stack more challenges, mate, and um, something tells me I reckon we're going to redeem ourselves today. We're, we're fighting fit and Daryl, and um, she's never looked better, to be honest. Yeah, mate, it's uh, good to have her back and uh, on song. So what do you got in mind? Is it your turn to do a challenge today? Yeah, it certainly is, mate. I'm going to take you to um, one of my old favourites, mate, the old Power Lines track. I reckon today we're going to absolutely wipe the floor, mate. I, I just... I just hope you guys have fun just watching Daryl just be spectacular. Wipe the floor with auto fluid, you mean? <laughs> you wait, Jocko. I've got a good feeling about today. Daryl is feeling fancy and I reckon we'll have an advantage on the power line track. A mess of bottomless bogs, slippery climbs and big ruts. Remember, my choice of mods include those 35-inch Wrangler Muddies and a fulcrum suspension lift. This is an insane place to be taking two stock four-wheel drives down with just a couple of cheap mods. This track put up a heck of a fight against fully kitted out rigs last time we are here. So I guarantee we've got our work cut out for us to make it through in unlocked Daryl and a Hilux on 29 inch all terrain tyres. The first challenge of the day is the infamous Cruiser Canyon Challenge. This should be a heck of a lot of fun. Give me at home down here, a bit of mud. No, oh, mate, it's, <laughs> this is a cracking little track. It's just very, very wet. You've got to get the exit perfectly lined up to make this one, which means a bit of manoeuvring in the mud. This is where she's at home. Loves it, look at her. That's it. Straight up. Woohoo! Straight up, well driven. Well done, mate. Yes. Well yeah. done. I had no faith in you, mate. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Straight up, mate. Straight up. I got right off a drain pipe. There we go. That was all Daryl. 
funny what grip 35 inch tires have. Yeah, I mean, the 29s are not going to do as well in the water. No, I think we'll probably diff out getting into the bog hole with the tow bar. And if we don't, the tow bar will get us on the way out. Yep. Oh, well, let's give it a go, eh? As beers are coming our way, Jesse. Back in the build phase, Jock and Matt just couldn't get the tow hitch to come out, despite efforts with an oxy torch and a sledgehammer. The boys aren't sounding all that confident about this one, so I'm going to bring down the snatch recovery kit. We're back in the race. If I was you, mate, I'd just get that winch unspooled now. Just, you know, it makes it easier than to try to sit through the mud to get it. Oh. Yeah, but uh, fishing through the mud sounds like a you problem, not a me problem, so it's all good. All I want you guys to do is just have fun with this drive, okay? There's no pressure. There's, okay, there's some beers on the line, big deal, but just have a bit of fun with it, right? Right, mate, I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun, but uh, maybe just get out of the way, eh? What's this horsepower? <laughs> Ooh, the brakes work, that's good. It's unusual, really. Oh, Jocko, you got no chance, mate. Look at look how big that rock step is. Watch the total. Yeah. Yeah, on that line, mate, on that line. I might just go straight up from that, you reckon? Yeah, definitely get over a little bit so yeah. the back doesn't fall in the big hole. They're talking plans. They get one shot at this, one shot. That's it, mate. Good numbers. There's that hole. Oh, yeah, there's that hole. Oh, lucky, mate. Now, that was a good first attempt. Oh, oh, no. That's it. Well done. What happened? <laughs> Start again. Okay, he gets two goes at this. Yeah, you got to get right over first so yeah. the back follows the ramp, I reckon. Yeah, you ready? That's a better line. That's a better line. Oh, so close. So close, but yet so far from the top, Jocko. When you get those beers, Jocko, just... If we could go the... Maybe, maybe the full strength iron jack, just the red ones, nice and cold. Look at the launch. That's still dip. You're on your dip. Nah, go, go, go back over. I don't think I can take off. If you, had, if you had muddies, I reckon you'd have half a chance, but. Oh, that's even worse. That's winch. Well, I think the boys are counting their blessings that they've got. A winch at the front of this. this is the Runva XP winch. It'll pull them out of here, no worries at all. The high being nice and light. The guys have got the front tyres up, so they're going to make it nice and easy for the winch. But it just goes to show, like a mod like that, even if you can't drive in your own steam and you can't keep up with Big Daryl, you can still winch your way out of trouble. <laughs> yes, feels pretty good to be back in the lead for once. Jesse grabs Daryl to make an easy anchor point for the Hilux. Down we go! <laughs> That's it. A little bit of right. The problem is these slippery rocks have sent Jock slowly and steadily towards that left bank. Oh no, not the quarter! <laughs> That's the door, not the quarter. Not the door. I think we need to, might need to reset that line, eh? Poor old Luxie. Ooh. Is it fed? Yes. Ah, Jocko, that's going to cost you, mate. But first, we reverse the Hilux back and see if we can get a better line to winch from. There's that diff. Yep. <laughs> this time around, the winch angle works a treat, and the boys are heading up the hill rather than across it. Right, 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 right. That's it, mate. That's all we need to drive it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah. disappointing. Yes. But they're not out of the woods just yet. Take the child lock off, mate. From now on, I'm driving. Ah, oh, bugger. That door's busted from that tree root and doesn't want to close. Yep. You want to wait till we get it up somewhere flat and we can lift it from underneath. Yeah. A bit of quick thinking from Matt and the guys do a temporary fix with a passenger seatbelt. Whatever gets you up, boys. Jock's now my chauffeur. Forward driver. Eww. Well, I'm going to call that a firm win for Daryl, and about time too. We really needed a few points. We pumped up to the top of the hill so Team Hilux can fix those door problems. Finally got that door shut. Yeah, it's all good, just needed a bit of massaging. Look mate, I thought I'd take this opportunity. We've just done the first uh, bit of a challenge for the day mm -hmm. and let's just let's just work out the scores now mm -hmm. because I, I'm going to get so far in front today that I'm going to probably lose count. This is quite so, a strategic challenge, you know. You pick something with big ruts, big tyre country. Yeah, it is, mate. And look, I did that on purpose. Yeah. And an S here. What do you mean? Is that a permanent sure. marker? It is, mate. That's, oh. that's so it doesn't come off. So first off, mate, 
You're in the lead. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm going to say that I convincingly outdrove you. You did, yeah, you hill. did. Quick six, six yep, on there. Six. Also, you did damage. Mm -hmm. You needed to use the winch twice. <laughs> oh, this is not my day today, is it? <laughs> did the door, you couldn't yep. open it, you couldn't shut it. Yep. And um, I was going to take six off you for that, but I'm only going to take four off you because you managed to get that door shut. Yeah, so. okay. Right, well, actually, hang on, mate. I'm just going <laughs> to give take... myself a little two there because that's a participation award. <laughs> yeah. So Luxie's turned up, we're just having fun out in the glassy oh, and I'm I'll glad to be here. So I'll pay two that. beers I'll for pay me. That. So I've got a bit of catching up to do on the old girl. Exactly right. And I think as well, we should let our navvies have a bit of a run. I was run. about to say, I've got an ace in the hole to make up some points. And Ooh, it's, uh, you're going to bring Matt out, your wild card. Yeah, he's my wild card. <laughs> All right, well, next challenge yeah. is not far away, mate. Let's get into it. Righto. Righto, about time. Bring on the co-pilots. <laughs> Did that last track scare you, did it? No, mate. I just, I just thought I'd finally, I'd finally showed you enough good driving that I've just warmed you up for what's yeah. in front. I've so. been trying to take in what you've been doing. So. <laughs> Dale likes to be caressed, mate. But every now and again, she likes you to really get on those reins and lift back. I think it's a horse thing. See if I can handle it. Yeah. After your last effort, <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> I should be up front here. Jesse does a lot of winch truck racing and knows the wheel to a Nissan better than most. So Daryl's in pretty good hands. Jesse's shown off his skills in the past with that wild GQ race truck of his. And it's a perfect guide when you want to hit up tough tracks in the glass house. That's the spirit. Easy as, Walked mate. Up there. Easy as. Didn't even spin a tyre. Mate, I reckon you'll nail this. Yeah, we'll be better after the way Jesse just drove up, mate. Yeah. Matt is a guru when it comes to building and wheeling luxes, so I reckon you won't struggle much either. Yeah, loves it, loves it, good line. Come on, Luxie! What a ring! Yeah! <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, those lockers make a difference, Oh, mate. big time, especially on the rocks. Thanks, Thanks mate. You some stuff there, I, mate. I did, mate, <laughs> I did. Jesse and I are feeling pretty confident about today after nailing the challenges this morning. But it's possible we've gotten a little too confident as we try and take on a bonus line to nab a few more points. This one is looking a lot bigger now. We've got a vehicle in there. And remember, we're still in an unlocked rig. Not a chance. <laughs> that is steep. Big hole. To add insult to injury, as we try to back out, we get firmly diffed out on the entry. Oh no. What a stitch up. There you go, that was the easiest six pack I've ever gotten. Right, mate, do you want a winch? Nah, we don't need a winch. Sean's going to get out and use the max tracks. So oh, right. okay. Well, I'm not going to help you then, because if we have to help, it doesn't count as a self recovery. All right, then. Nah, it's all right. I've got this. Oh, yep. I see the problem here. I see the problem. All right. We're going to take the max tracks off. Old Daryl here. It's exactly the reason why we got the max tracks, so we can self recover and um, not have to owe beers. Beers are a great way, not obviously just in the sand, but also in the mud as well. And we're going to see if this can help us. Now, it's going to be a difficult one because we've actually bellied out quite savagely here. So if the Max Tracks can work here, we'll save ourselves a few beers. With the Max Tracks adding a bit of height and traction, Daryl clears the lip and can back out. But I'm not sure that the boys are going to let us get away without a beer penalty. Just to burst the bubble a little bit further, Daryl's brake pedal is now going through the floor. So we're going to have to stop and do a few running repairs. Well, assuming, of course, Jocko can actually clear the ruts and make it up this hill. Well, how's that? The brake fluid is reading below the minimum line in the reservoir here. Just going to top it up here with some Castrol brake fluid. Just get that, because the brake pedal was actually to the ground before, which is not what you want. But it goes to saying we need a lot of spares on this trip. Spares box provided us with a stack of different bits from brake fluid, power, steering fluid, plus uni joints, CVs, you name it, we got it here. So um, we've actually been going through a fair few of those as well. That's one of the things with old cars out in the bush. You do need a comprehensive list of spares and um, fluids, oils, everything to get these vehicles running right. Before we move on, we do a quick brake bleed. Yeah, pump it up. But there's a crack in one of the lines too that we'll have to look into back at yeah, camp. And just to add to the tally on the last line, we also bent the bull bar and guard. I'm going to need Jocko's help, I'm afraid. Straight up, that's going to cost you hay because it's a guard as well. So, I mean, you can blame Jesse, but you're going to lose some beers for this, mate. Right, eh? Let's just get the winch and we'll work right. it out a little bit later. Yep. How good's that? Pretty good, mate. That, that is just about where we wanted it. Yeah. Give that a push. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
He's quality in this. Oh, now you've gone in the other way. No, it's pretty good now. Yeah, no, that's pretty, pretty good. It's not too bad. Yeah. I can take that out now. I'll put the flare back on and we're back in business. So cool. thank you for that, Jocko. No worries, mate. That's the biggest recovery we've had to do today. <laughs> so far. I was pretty harsh on the boys this morning and Jocko's paying me back, giving himself six beers for the use of the winch and a damage penalty. Ah, oh, well, let's get on to the next challenge so I can claim some points back. And sure enough, around the bend is something that should suit Daryl to an absolute T. A collection of nasty looking bog holes and some very suspicious lines. I don't think anyone's driven this for some time, mate. No. Driver, flat out. Yes! Little. Easy! Little <laughs> weapon, mate. Little weapon. This is such a good car. It's just a weapon. We just, just checked out again, I reckon. Glasshouse weapon. All right, Jocko, you got some big shoes to fill. Send in the little pony. Intimidating, isn't it? Yeah, very. Jocko's got to take a different line through here. He doesn't have the clearance that big Daryl's got, so he's going to try and straddle the rut. So getting one tyre across and then trying to switch over right at the end. Now, the only thing that could go wrong is he could slip in sideways, and that's not going to be pretty on a bog hole like this, but I reckon he'll do all right. Right, Jocko, ready with you, are, mate. Yeah. Now I can't see anything. Left hand down, I think, dude. Looks to be a little bit left. Oh yeah, I can see that. That's yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's now. We're right. Hit. We're right. Down yeah. I go. Good that's line, perfect. Jocko. Now you get to give it a little hit for the yeah. ball. Ready? I was born ready. Oh, oh, lefty, righty, lefty, righty. Oh no. Oh no. Lefty, oh, there goes oh, the no. ball. Oh, that's the diff. Oh! Can you do a proper dumpy? Yeah, you'll get, get it, in? you'll get it, you'll get it. Give it a proper dumpy. Get it, Jocko! Go on, you've got it, little girl! Come on, Maxie! Oh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! How good well for the moment punching. I probably just yeah. fed the back of the car. Well driven, mate. Oh! Oh, Sorry, Maxie. Bill. Getting the pen straight out. It's gonna take. Worse. It's gonna take a while to write down. Sort of shaking the hand out. That's fine. <laughs> that was from yesterday. No. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. In, in, if anything, I get more beers because that was a spirited drive. You just idled through it like a beta Skill. male. Skill, mate. This was Skill. pure alpha stag. <laughs> it's not gonna take any points off. That is fantastic. That was a good drive, Jocko. <laughs> I reckon we both did pretty well on that one, so I'm giving two style points for Daryl and two send it points for the Pony Lux. Yeah, yours was nice and controlled. I was, was a red pea plater. Yours was more entertaining, it's proper glasshouse back. Yeah. Send that mud point. Into a... Well done, mate. Cool. There's absolutely no denying. The glasshouse mountains offer endless fun in the mud, and just ahead, there's even more of it. Let's get into it. Yep. Full punty go. <laughs> we did it! What bugger? Go, go, go! You're gonna have to go at the rear too, go! <laughs> Daryl loves it! Daryl loves a mud bog! He loves a big mud bog and everyone again! <laughs> Straight through, mate, not even an issue! Oh no, it's done it again! Oh. I'll hold it! Oh, it's in the here we go, baby. Oh, that's the speed. Oh. Well, that is not the ideal line. Nope. Drifty boy. That's it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm lined up now, though. Yeah, and then we can hit it second. Yeah. This mate, oh, no grip. Yeah! Look, I'm punching! I told you I nearly yeah. stopped this so many times. Oh, how fun is mud bogging? Yeah. Woo! Well, that's the power lines track, and I've got to say, it's just a whole lot of fun. That's about all we've got time for today, though, and we're about ready for an Iron Jack back at camp. The rigs have been so impressive. I thought we might struggle to find easy enough tracks for them to drive, 
we've taken on some of the serious Glasshouse classics, and tomorrow we've got even bigger plans. For tonight, we're rolling out our swags at Running Creek Parklands, an awesome little camp spot about 10 minutes from Woodford. Not bad, eh? We're not exactly running a luxury camp set up this time around, but of course, we're on a budget and there wasn't exactly cash to spare for camp mods. But with the scores pretty even after a few days out in the track, I've got one camp mod I reckon will guarantee me a few extra points. We'll just sit it right down here. How good is that, mate? First things first, I'll get you a cold one. There you go. Cheers. There you go. Yeah, this is what I like about the Mike Coleman fridge, especially with the power packs, our lithium power packs, so I can take it out of the vehicle. Also double up as a camp chair. Now the boys have got an Esky, and uh, we've got no ice, so they've got no cold beers. Mate, we're one step ahead. I think we're winning the camp challenge, if you don't say so. Cheers. Well, folks, what do you reckon? Who's winning so far? Are your beers with Daryl or the Hilux? Jocko, fun day, mate. Cracker F of a day. Fun day. I, I, yeah. I was so glad I could take you on my wing today and just show you how we drive the glass house in yeah. Queensland. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. You showed me a lot not to do. But then <laughs> ah, it, come yeah. on. How good was that track, I had so, like, I haven't had that much fun in the car in a long time. Same. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, you know I'm not a Nissan man. You're but, not a good driver either, but... But... But you're loving that GQ? I'm absolutely loving it, mate. Yeah. It goes so hard. Like it Would just... you sell Sooty if you could keep that as like a daily? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate, but would you like a beer? I would love a beer, yeah. Well, what like, you got there? You probably got, no, well, I've got some beers here. Jesse, yeah. you, you'll have one, mate. Yeah. Matt, you, you, yeah, you got, you got, you, you guys will probably have one in your, in your highlights, no doubt, because you would have had a fridge in there or something. No, something to no. keep beers cold. Where's? Well, cheers, Jesse. Cheers, mate. Where's my beer? Oh, you get one out of your highlights, surely. No, we don't. Cheers, cheers, mate. I've earned a lot of beers off you, and you somehow managed to weasel away <laughs> into taxing them off me. <laughs> look, look, boys, how about I do a deal? We'll swap you a few points for a few beers. A few points. How many cheers. points are we talking? Two points? Point a beer. Here we Thanks, go. Mate. Here Hello. we go. Thanks, mate. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, Jesse. mate. Cheers. cheers, Jesse. Look, let's just call it two points, and the beers are on me. You win where you can. Time to get a feed on, and once again, we've had to cut a few corners. Oh, getting a bit hot. Now, I've forgotten the tongs, a bit of a budget build going on here, with especially the cooking implements. But, um, got the Nebo, oh, at least I can see what I'm doing. That old spoon, though, see what it tastes good. Stick around, folks, because tomorrow's drives are gonna be huge. It's another perfect day in the Glasshouse Mountains as we get ready for another big day out on the tracks. The budget rigs have performed amazingly so far, and I reckon it's only fair that on our last day, we push the envelope and see how far we can take them. First though, a quick inspection is on the cards, and both vehicles are definitely a little worse for wear. Need to tighten that Oh yeah, yep, that dent as well. Oh yeah, that. what's that one? Oh no, I don't I didn't see that one yesterday. Yeah, that was... That's a new one? That was new, that might have been me, I don't know. Yeah, well, so a few bumps and stuff like that, mate. But oh. I tell you what, these vehicles have performed extremely well for the amount of time we had to modify them and some of the tracks we've taken them on too. So. Insane, mate. The, to think that you can take this vehicle on 29 inch tyres, standard suspension through some of those tracks is absolutely insane. And we're not done yet. We've no, got some yeah. big tracks lined up, mate. I reckon we pack camp up because um, the track I want to do next is probably one of the most famous ones in the Glasshouse Mountains. And if we can, I think I know what you're talking about. Yep. If we can get Daryl up unlocked, it'll yep. be a first for me. And um, mate, if you can keep up, he'll be doing well. I'll try, mate, but let's get packed <laughs> up, eh? Yep, I know just the track for today to really test these four-wheel drives out. One that has definitely challenged us in the past in much newer and more kitted out rigs. It only takes a few minutes to pack up our basic camp. But before we're going to go and do a quick maintenance check and a once over to fix a few mechanical issues. For Jocko, that means an oil top up and a fluid check. But Daryl, as you know, is a bit of a lemon and needs power steering fluid and of course, that brake fixed. Now yesterday you probably recalled that we topped up the brake fluid a number of times. Um, we kept losing brake fluid and um, Jesse got under and found there was a crack in one of the lines. So 
We're replacing it with a spare part that we've got now. Just changing that line, we're gonna bleed the brakes up and hopefully we're gonna have full brakes again. Because on this auto, you tend to use the brakes a lot more than in a manual. Luckily, Spares Box gave us spare fluid, but hopefully this should be the last time we need to top up the brake fluid. I reckon Daryl's just about due for a mechanical free day. <laughs> All right, time to hit the tracks. If you haven't guessed it already, today's first challenge is going to be Little Red, one of the Glasshouse's most famous challenges and a perfect way to test out the potential of our budget rigs. Oh, mate, haven't been here for a little while. Little Red. Yeah, it's a good little hill. That's a big little hill. That's <laughs> pretty wild, I reckon, if you want to test your four-wheel drive out and looking for a track that's one of the harder ones. It's certainly not the hardest in the Glasshouse, but it's, it's a good challenge, there's no doubt about that. I reckon, what do you reckon? Do you reckon Daryl's gonna make it up Little Red? I reckon we've got a fair chance. Ch little Red always changes, but I reckon we've got a fair run, I reckon. Well, I'll take that as a maybe. But I've got one trick up my sleeve that I reckon will give Daryl an edge. Although Jocko has probably got the same idea. Now, would you look at that? Little Red, what an absolute cracker. This is an A-grade challenge that most people wouldn't dream of taking their rig up. We've tackled it in the past and it's an absolute ball terror. Big step up, committing ruts and a diff banging exit. Not one to be taken on lightly, that's for sure. We're soon checking out the lines and I put my secret or not so secret strategy into play. This is a famous little red and Sean's never driven this track in a vehicle that's unlocked. So he's put Jesse in the driver's seat of the big GQ and I reckon he's gonna absolutely eat this. It's going to be a feat doing it unlocked. The Hilux will have the advantage here for sure. Definitely. But if we can just use a little bit of momentum, roll up that left line. Yeah, if we can get this bottom bit, I reckon we've got a fighting chance. We'll give it a go. We'll Big Daryl hasn't let us down so far. Well, has actually quite a few times, but <laughs> here we go. Well, that's a good line. Straight up. Easy, mate. Woo! Easy. Well driven, Jesse. It's pretty amazing to get an unlocked vehicle up here. <laughs> well done! Yes! That's the go! Yes! <laughs> you feel that? That was all in the tyre. That was all tyre grip. Just kept going and just got some traction. We'll dip out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Love that! Woo. How good! What a beast! How good's the auto? Oh, wow! That, that got us up. Although we didn't get through entirely unscathed. Such an epic drive. That was an awesome drive. Mate, I couldn't believe that. Just one go, I reckon you couldn't have got a neater drive if you tried. That was probably full marks for that drive. Boy, you absolutely walked up that. I'm amazed. I know. What? I know, tail light. Mate, it was a cracking drive, but I'm going to have to take points and I'm going to sting you for this one. Three beers, good night. Three beers? Three beers, yeah. It was a perfect drive. It was a straight <laughs> tail end before. So we get the six for the perfect drive and the yeah. three for the damage. Yeah. I'm not happy with that, but I we'll, don't care. We'll, we'll, we'll cop it, and I can't wait to see you guys drive up here. Yeah, well, Matt's going to be driving this I'm one. Gonna so. be, ooh, I'm going to be looking for any flaw in the drive. Yeah. You know, you hold your tongue out the wrong way, points are coming off. So come on, do your right, best. Right, let's do it, eh? Right, you ready? Right, oh, yeah, mate. Let's see if I can get this door closed. Oh, good luck. Now, the Hilux has got a bit of a clearance issue 29 inch tyres, no suspension under it. So that's not going to be going on their side, but they do have twin lockers. So. If Matt picks the perfect line, the lockers will give him plenty of traction, but you'll need to give just enough momentum so those discs don't get hung up. So it'll be interesting to see either way, but I'm going to be judging pretty critically on this one. They took points off, for three points for a broken tail light. Ooh, I can't wait to see this drive. Righto, mate. Crawley boy is at it. Yeah, go the Luxie. Jesse did it well, didn't he? he I, did, can't see, no, I can't see. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the door, and the door. <laughs> Try shutting the door, mate. There's a point off the shore. What do you mean? Just carelessness, <laughs> carelessness. That's a good drive, though. Great drive. Come on, Luxie. Right, yep, you get. Oh, Ew. well done. He loves it. Well done. With the lockers, yeah, does it well, doesn't it? it? Even with 29s, <laughs> this is going to be the hardest bit, which yeah. is probably not actually the hardest bit. Yeah, just clearance. It's hardest for us. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe, what do you reckon about steering up, trying to get up into like your left tire onto that? Yeah, well, I just tried that there and it just didn't turn up. Yeah. <laughs> the boys are nerding out again. Less talk, more driving, fellas. <laughs> ah, the diff. Is that the door? Yeah, but it's the bad door already, so it's oh, okay. Oh, that's all right. It's pretty impressive here how those four-wheel drive system auto lockers don't inhibit oh. Matt's steering, even though there's a front locker. You got this. Go, Lockie! Oh. Go on! When you bump it, Matt, steer this way, I reckon. Yeah? Come on, Lockie! Yes. yes! Well done! You got it! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh, what a beast! Yes! What a drive! Oh, that gets me excited. I'm still taking points off, though. <laughs> what a cracker of a drive, mate. Wow, that was extreme. Yeah, the nailed little tyres definitely struggled. Yeah. I might just go down there and roll into the bank. Because <laughs> that's the handbrake. Unbelievable. Stock suspension, 29s, and they've just done little red. Without those auto lockers, they wouldn't have had a snowball's chance in hell. Look at that. You scratched no, it. You, scr you scratched it. That's... Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm not going to take a point off of that. I'll give him full points for that drive. That was one of the better drives I've ever seen. I'm going to have to take two points off, mainly your fault, Jocko. Just being a lazy passenger. So you couldn't keep the door shut, so I was just taking two points Sorry, off. Sorry, mate, I let the team one job and didn't do that right. <laughs> so look, four, that was an amazing drive. I, look, I'm still smiling from here. You guys yeah. should be as well. It that was, was great. To get a truck up on 29s, you know, with about this much clearance, spot on. All Absolute the driver, I think. On. Yep, that was one heck of a drive. And Jocko and Matt are now one beer ahead on the points. So, a lot to play for as we take on the next challenge of the day. Hey Jesse, give him some tips, mate. I reckon if we go like you go more that way and then hit it more square. So if you go right and then full left. And then start to see your left now. Go now, drive. Yeah, beauty. Don't relate it up. Wow. Happy days. It's a good car, eh? Oh, it's a weapon. I, I love this car. Don't, don't tell anyone back, <laughs> at, back at home I love this car, but yeah. <laughs> needs oh, a bit loves more, it. Needs a bit more wood. Bit of clutch use. Did you miss the rock? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Now you want that fulcrum lift. Look at that. It's flexing, isn't it? It's actually surprising for a two inch lift to be able to flex like that. Straight up with that. Bit left. Get back to you. Beauty! Easy. Easy. How good was that? Easy. This thing's near unstoppable. It is, it's a weapon. Yeah, the Luxie. We're going to build the out over this one for it. Yeah, because there's nothing on the other side. But well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's a weapon. As a little Lux appears to make easy work of this challenge, the boys are starting to get a little overconfident and things are about to take a turn for the worse. And that's a good bonus line on the left there. Yeah, that's a Luxie line, I thought I'd ever seen one. That's it. Oh. oh! We had it. Yeah. Watch the key. What a weapon! What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what were you doing? I was trying to go up that bonus line! <laughs> Yucko! Oh Yucko. my god! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> You're not wrong there, mate. In fact, I think this deserves a replay. Or even several replays. What a weapon. Whoa. Well, that's a huge turn of events. I'm not even sure how we score this one. I feel like I'm on a boat that's sinking. What's this worth, you reckon? 
All jokes aside, we need to get the Luxie back on its wheels and do it safely. Well, mate, how are we going to get this back on all four? Well, I want it, it's like I left it in gear, so hopefully it won't roll away when it's done. But I think safety is obviously the main thing. If we can just do almost like a 90 degree pull to maybe a tree over there yep. and just pull it over nice and slow. I could even get the GQ, I could bring it down into there probably. Yeah. Just to like, as an anchor, just to stop it if anything does happen. Yep. You, you know I'm going to take a beer you off can just have, You can just have them. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want them anymore. I'm going to have to take a beer off yeah. you, mate. <laughs> no, seriously, good drive. <laughs> One beer. You can't complain about that, mate. And what do you know? It puts the scores at even. So fortunately, it was quite a smooth rollover onto its side. It wasn't a full rollover, so hopefully it should be relatively straightforward to recover. We've gone for essentially a right angle winch to a tree over there. Um, I'm pretty sure I left it in gear, um, but we're probably just going to hook up another vehicle to the front just in case, just for an extra bit of safety, and then uh, pull it back over. The GQ is soon hooked up, and we can set about trying to get the Lux back on all four wheels. Almost there, just one more step. Jocko, Jocko, before we do this, something real serious, mate, and I'm just gonna put these back on the vehicle. Um, I'll put one on the rear as well. I don't want any traffic coming up behind and not knowing what they're getting themselves into. I got, I got absolutely nothing, mate. <laughs> There's so much mud on here. Oh, there we go, there we go. No, look, it's all right, mate. Everyone needs to learn somehow. Um, Look at that, how has he not done any damage? Oh, the tub's pretty fed. Oh, a little bit, but you just rolled the vehicle on its side, so it's not too bad, really. It's pretty lucky there's not more damage, but Jocko is sure to be red-faced for a while yet. All right, so Jocko attached to the big GQ. We've got the winch working overtime. So reverse back a little bit. Ha <laughs> rat bags. Now's not classic stitch up. Hold on, Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> Is it out of gear? Yep. Come back a little bit, Jocko. <laughs> 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 little bump from there. Yeah, back to the Jocko. Hold your brake, Jock. I got like no brakes, eh? Hey. <laughs> now, of course, the Lux has been at side for quite a while, and oil could have moved into the head. The big problem we have to be really careful with is if that oil comes down, is in top of the cylinder as we try and turn the key, it could actually hydro lock the engine. Now that could bend the rods and cause complete engine failure. It's not something you want right now, so it's really important that we do this very carefully. Jocko is going to um, just bump that key, try not to start it over, and just um, hopefully all the oil's drained down back where it should be. Ready? Yeah. It's a Hilux. They do that. They do that. What a rig. <laughs> Nothing to see here. I reckon we keep going, Jocko. What do you reckon? Well, that was a heck of a day. And I reckon we've probably given these rigs enough punishment for one trip. How's the big Hilux running, mate? Is it going all right? You wouldn't even know that I just put it on its side, to be honest. It's just cruising. Oh, that's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. Those Hiluxes are bloody tough, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, if it takes a driver like me and it's still fine, then happy days. Well, I reckon, mate, that might be that might be enough for driving for one day for you, big fella. Yeah, look, uh, my hand's still shaking still, so I'm pretty happy to maybe go to the pub or something now. Definitely a good few days, though. It was good fun. Cracking couple of days, mate. The tracks out here are just so much fun. I reckon we'll remember this trip for a long oh, time. Yeah. Yep, the glass house is just so much fun to visit. And every time we come here, we leave smiling from ear to ear. But this has got to be the most fun we've ever had full driving in a long time. And I'm sure you'd agree. Well, Jocko, epic couple of days, mate. Had an absolute ball. And the vehicles did really well for some of the tracks we did. 
like basic mods, and they were both very different mods as well. You know, sort of reflected on the scorecard, but very, very close, mate. And I want to put it out to you guys. Who won? Who won the Bush Mechanic Challenge? Jocko Stuffy. or myself? Now, there were some epic drives from Jocko, no doubt. Matt as well. Jesse and I did some crackers. It's going to be really hard to pick what the better drives were. Maybe what was the most entertaining drive? Mm, I don't yeah. know. I think I would know what I'd pick. <laughs> we love hearing from you guys. So make sure you leave a comment. And if you like this sort of content, and trust me, we like making it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Now, Jocko, what do you reckon? The mate, pub? it's time for a beer. I reckon you're shouting for the boys, Ooh, mate. <laughs> well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed our Bush Mechanic Challenge. Make sure you let us know what rigs you want to see us build up next. And if you want to see more from this trip, jump onto our Facebook page or Instagram and check out the outtakes. And trust me, there's some absolute doozies. Have a look at that, eh? <laughs> 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 Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. Next week on Four Wheel Drive 24 7, catch up with us as we answer all your questions about the Bush Mechanic Challenge on Beers in the Shed. Take a look at the vehicle's post trip and we talk plans for the future. And if that's not enough to get you excited, the week after, join us for the crazy East First West adventure as Graham checks out Remote WA while Jocko and I take on Coffs Harbour. It's all right here on Four Wheel Drive 24 7. <laughs>